How do you make a good apology? My name is Jared Altick, and I'm a chaplain with the police department. Recently, I was at a roll call, and I saw an officer at the end of roll call stand up and, and give an apology to his entire shift. And I don't know that half the people there knew what he was apologizing for, but he manned up, he, he said he was sorry, and it was very effective. And so if you need to apologize, first of all, I encourage you to do it. But secondly, follow these two tips. Make it unilateral and make it unconditional. By unilateral, I mean you don't apologize to get someone else to apologize. You can't control the other side. They might not ever say they're sorry. They may not ever feel that they're sorry. So you just be responsible for your end and apologize for your part of it. And, and the other part of it being um, unconditional, if you make it unconditional, that means that you aren't giving excuses for why you had to do what you did or why other people are unnecessarily offended. All of those apologies when you're sorry that other people's feelings were hurt, those are conditions and qualifications that make it not a good apology. So if you're going to apologize, the best apologies are basically three words. I am sorry. So just give a straight up apology, own your responsibility, say you're sorry and move on. You'd be surprised at how much healing a good apology can have.